All right, what's going on, you guys? Today is a special day, and I'm stoked you're here hanging out with us. Inside this cooler is a fish that I've never, ever cleaned before, but you guys have been asking for me to do a catch, clean, and cook on it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back down south, back out on the boat with Matt and Lauren Shramko, and I'm gonna show you catching it. And then we're gonna come back here, I'm gonna clean it, we're gonna go in that cabin, we're gonna cook it. Thanks for watching Deer Me for Dinner. What's going on? That is fantastic. Give it a shot right there and see what happens. That's what we're looking for, y'all. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh, he's got it. Hold on. He's got it, but he hasn't eaten it yet. Hold on. I got a fish on right here. Get the net, I got it right here. This is, look at, look at, look at the garfish, they're spawning. Yeah, look at that gar. I literally spotted him on the bank, pitched him a bait and caught him. Species number four. On the lake out of Wow. All right, that's it. You guys have been telling me you wanted to see a garfish catch, clean, and cook. This one's going on the grill. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. A nice, big old, slimy garfish. And it is slimy. We're gonna be washing this thing off before I clean it. <sighs> I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm doing this, look at my finger. I'm doing this for y'all. Look at the slime. Are you kidding me? No, you're not kidding me. Ugh, I can't believe I'm doing this, y'all. So we've got this sucker de-slimed, and I want to tell you guys something really cool. Sarah has started making Dear Mom videos again. So if you want to see all kinds of cool vlogs, about me and Sarah and the girls. Please check out Dear Mom. There'll be a link directly down in the description and you're gonna see sort of like the inside of our lives as husband and wife and the uh, mom and dad to our two daughters. Now, let's clean this rascal. Alrighty y'all, let's work our way through this. The guts or the entrails of a garfish are basically toxic. So we're gonna try to avoid them at all costs. What I'm looking for is the two big loins right on their back. We call them a back strap. And I gotta tell you, this is my first time I've ever, ever cleaned one of these. So if I look like an idiot, just tell me. Very good to have a nice sharp knife and you're gonna wanna cut inside the scales just like that. I feel like I'm cleaning an alligator. Down just like that. Most people that you see on YouTube cleaning a gar, use a tool like this. I'm using a silver stack knife and I wanna see if it'll cut through these scales. They are pretty hard.
Okay, that's why they use a tool like this, because they're very hard. And we want to just, oh my gosh, do you hear how loud that is? Cut to about right there. Just like that. Take our knife and we're gonna skin this rascal out. I feel like I'm skinning out an alligator, to tell you the God's honest truth. nice and white that meat is. That's, that was not expected. Man, I did not expect that. Look how that just peeled right down. Now we'll take our knife, just like we're cutting out a couple back straps. Cut down. Very few bones. Look at that. Yo. That's pretty. Now let's do the same thing over here. Look at that. He's like a convertible. <whistles> Cleaned him right out. Took his back straps out. And it's time to start having some fun. Kadoki, <sighs> we got fire. Now. Let's get us some peanut oil going. I mean, we're cooking garfish. This has to be a southern meal, huh? Peanut oil, if you're gonna fry fish or fry anything, peanut oil is a great oil to work with because it doesn't burn. It's got a really high temperature rating. It doesn't burn easy. Now, let's get us a, an onion. Just like that, let's skin this sucker. This stuff right here, house, autry, hush puppy mix, so stinking good. We don't need to make a lot, so we're just gonna, that's probably more than we need right there. Put that in there, take some water. Get this worked into a nice consistency. Ooh, that's perfect, almost it right there. Take some of these onions, throw them in there. We're gonna add some honey. Honey does wonders for a hush puppy mix. And a little bit of original Everglades. How many of y'all saw that coming? And that's what you're looking for in terms of consistency. That's, that's what I like. Take this, take a dollop of this, and just... Make it some nice pieces, I say about that big. Season them with original Everglades. Normally I would roll them in a little flour, but I want to be able to taste them. And the original Everglades is just a nice, light, herby flavor, so it really doesn't take away from the flavor of the fish, it enhances it. Oh, come on. These rascals are getting done. Set them over here on a little rack of paper. Let them drain off. Just 
drizzle some nice orange blossom honey right over the top. Mm. Now, Woo. We are coming down to the final moments. What we've all been waiting for, what you've been asking for for years, a garfish. Catch, clean, and cook. Whoops. Whoa, three jumpers. Ta-da. Look at that. Got some fried onions, hush puppies, and fried garfish backstrap. Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for this food, and I thank you for all my many opportunities and blessings. Lord, I pray that you just lead me and guide me and forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, I hope you understand that the reason I say the blessing is because I'm really thankful for what I've got. I'm thankful for this food. I'm thankful for all of y'all watching, being a part of it, and the health and strength of my family. And so, I know not everyone in the world can sit down to a plate of food like this. I am thankful to God that I can. And now, I'm going to eat it. I will be getting John's expression on tape when he takes a bite of this. Masterful. First time in my life I've ever eaten garfish, and I can promise you for most of my life I never thought I would ever be taking this bite. It's like I tell you, I tell you exactly what it tastes like. That tastes exactly like alligator tail. Wow. That is really good. I've never had it either in my life, and uh, I'm a fan. You taste the That's really good. Now. All right, you got it. I don't like eating in front of people, so this is good. Rob knows how to make a hush puppy. I'm gonna put some deer meat in one of these. Oh my goodness, man. That's fantastic, but the, uh, the garfish is amazing. Isn't it? Mm hmm All right, you guys. You asked for it, you got it, and we like it. Fantastic, we're gonna sit here and finish lunch. Then we're gonna be working on the pond later. We're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Let me ask you a question. Who's happy you're alive today? I am, and I hope you are too. Take care, God bless. Please check out Dear Mom, we're gone.